Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I have a very interesting story that I'm going to be sharing with you. It seems to be that uh, the financial system is definitely um, experiencing some major problems. We have these glitches, these problems, these issues, these this malfunctioning of systems. And all of this is coming at a very strange time for a lot of people. What's up with these banks folding and all, what's going on with all of this? Uh, anyway, we're going to dive into this story because we're looking at something coming out of Atlanta where members of a credit union say that they feel like their money is being held hostage. And we're not just talking about hours, y'all. We're not just talking about days. We're talking about weeks, bounce checks, bills going unpaid uh, from funds that are supposed to be there. So anyway, um, I'm going to share with you the details of this story. And of course, you know, I will be right back. ...is being held hostage. Some say they haven't had access to their direct deposits for two weeks. They can't make withdrawals and their automatic car payments are not going through. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live in Southeast Atlanta. Ty, you've been working all day to find out what's behind this. And Linda, this is the main branch for the Atlanta Postal Credit Union right behind me. They basically share a building with the post office. Today, I went inside to get answers for those members who say they have not been able to access their money for weeks. They need to tell us really what's going on yeah. because it's our money that they're using. Carolyn Hawkins has an account here at the Atlanta Postal Credit Union. APCU has six locations in Metro Atlanta. On their website, they mention a system outage. And it says here, as of early morning, March 25th, members can now access online and mobile banking. But we spoke to several members Thursday who said things have not been restored online or inside the credit union. I came here several times and they were saying that the system was down. So we were, I was not gonna get a paper receipt, but the money would be in there. And they said it's been down for a while, they don't know what happened. To find out, I went inside this Decatur location. Then I went to the main branch in Southeast Atlanta. The managers I spoke with said they can't comment. There's also a credit union branch inside South DeKalb Mall. I spoke to a member there on the phone. She's been trying to get a cashier's check for two weeks. Well, I feel like my money is being held hostage. And um, I cannot complete transactions because of this. I spoke to some other members off camera who said they haven't gotten their direct deposits. Things they have on automatic payment aren't getting paid. And it's a mess. And they can't give me a day and a time when this would be cleared up. They just... Okay, so you're looking at a very frightening situation for a number of people who bank with that credit union. Uh, they're being told all kinds of things. Bills are not being paid that, that are on automatic payment. Uh, they feel like they're getting the runaround and that their money is being held hostage. And it seems to me that uh, this um, type of scenario is presenting, uh, presenting itself more and more often, more and more often. Um, when you look at um, the coverage on this, I mean, the the members, the credit union members are saying they feel like their money is being held hostage and they can't access their funds. I mean, this is being reported. And of course, um, from the bank's standpoint, uh, they feel like um, people just need to be patient, right? But from um, the standpoint of the customers, I mean, you can say be patient all you want to, but a lot of times uh, companies that you owe payments to, they won't take into consideration that a glitch happened with your banking system or that there was a problem with a financial institution that was out of your control. Um, your, your credit can be affected by this. Your life can be affected by it. You can't pay bills. And so um, as things change and shake up in this current financial environment that we're living in, we have to ask ourselves, how much worse are things going to get? A lot of uh, countries are transitioning out of the dollar. If we think this is uncomfortable, what is it going to look like a year from now, two years from now, five years from now? What are things going to be like then? Of course, again, I like to reiterate that I don't want anyone to be governed by fear, but I want us to understand that something is happening. A lot of people 
want to forget that. They want to pretend like um, things are not as bad as it seems and that we shouldn't be um, feeding too much into something or that too much attention is being paid to this, that, and the third. But I feel like they are letting us know through all of these glitches and problems and situations that something is on the horizon. And if you can't feel that, I don't know what to say. Now, of course, a lot of people are waking up to these facts. That's, that's for sure. But there are a lot of people who are still asleep, who just have no idea what's going on in the world. And it's almost as if they are sleepwalking, literally sleepwalking. But that being said, um, it is definitely time to tighten up, tighten up all the loose ends that you can. Um, Y'all know that I've said many times that we need to get our money out of these banks anyway. We definitely need to get our money out of these banks, um, put it to use for things that you know you're gonna, gonna need. That's one thing you need to be doing, putting it to use. Uh, the other thing is um, hold on to as much of it as you can, you know, for those times to where you need cash, right? But my, my biggest thing is putting it to use. That's the biggest thing. Put it to use because we don't know when the, the, the whole system is going to just completely fold. We don't know when. We know that it's a process and that it is happening. It's unraveling right before our eyes. No more time for sleepwalking. Time to get up from there. Handle your business. Fortify where you can. And if I sound like a broken record... This is because I have to repeat certain things so that people can wake up. You need to shake yourself loose. This thing is happening, okay? It is happening. And we don't have time for thumb twiddling anymore. We don't have time to be saying, well, maybe this and maybe that. It is happening, okay? The system is failing. Um, the dollar is on its way out. That being said, let's stay alert. I know I plan to. Um, in the comment section, tell us what you think. What do you think about the situation with the financial systems and these banks and credit unions and these glitches? What are your thoughts on this? Remember, as always, to keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I am out.